most folks around here haven't even heard of us. And if they have heard of us, they generally don't know who we are or what we're doing out here. We'd like to invite you to get to know us a little better and get to know about an incredible place that we've come to think of as our place. A place we built, a place we run, and a place we love. Welcome to Savannah Dew. When I first came out here to interview, I had no idea this place even existed. I mean, when I drove in, it was like I was amazed, overwhelmed. Everybody that works here is local, so um, we're, we're adding jobs to the economy. It's exciting. It's fun. It's exciting to be here. And even on my days off, I like coming here because um, I like going out fishing. Fishing is better here. I'd rather fish here than out on Lake Ontario, to be honest with you. We have very important people that are going to change the world that are coming here. There's just so much that you can't do anywhere else in the world. So, and it's right here in, you know, most of these people's backyards. I'm sure the folks around this area never knew or never could, could conceive that we were going to be the size we are and, what, and have here in their own town, in, in the town of Savannah or the town of Galen, that something like this uh, facility would be here. I can't believe people aren't out pounding on the doors to get in here. <laughs> Savannah Dew encompasses 5,000 acres across the townships of Clyde and Savannah in central New York. What was once cornfield and marshland has been transformed over the last 20 years into a diverse wildlife and hunting preserve. Our resources are dedicated to promoting alternative energy technology and the best practices in land use and wildlife management. With our five-star accommodations, we offer our guests an experience that rivals the best resorts in the world. Our attention to every detail creates an atmosphere of rustic luxury on a grand scale. That said, you won't find us in the local hospitality listings. So what are we doing here? Originally, Savannah Dew was the private hunting retreat of Syracuse developer Bob Conjol. Today, it's an enterprise dedicated to furthering the Conjol family's desire to make a difference in the nation and the world. Business leaders, politicians, scientists, educators, and environmentalists are invited here to exchange ideas on important social, economic, and security issues that face our country. Above all, they come to Savannah Dew to meet, plan, and implement the development of Destiny USA. Right now, we are getting to be the adjunct of Destiny USA. Uh, we have people that come here from all over the world, this place, with the people and, and, and the human element more than anything else is a huge comfort to anyone that comes here and they look around and say if you can create this type of cordial service with your employees and build something to the detail this is and create an environment inside and outside that's unmatched anywhere in the world they walk out of here with a confidence level that Destiny should be an easy job for people with this attitude to do. We're basically the springboard for Destiny. A lot of the meetings that happen, happen out here. The time here really is like what they would have at Destiny. Not so much in the environment, although we are going to have areas in Destiny like this, but more the service. Everyone has a role in the impact of Destiny with, with the guests that come out here. The people, the clients, uh, the personnel that they have, they come here, they, they relax, they see what we have here, see what we can do here. Uh, gives them a great place for, for meetings. It's about the future and ideas, basically. I mean, that's what Destiny's about. And Savannah Dew is supporting Destiny, so. It's gonna be a level different than anything they've ever seen anywhere in the world. So we're here basically to show the first step of that experience and what will be possible once Destiny is created and, and in full swing. It's gonna be a big, a big adventure. The, the opportunities that it will create for people is just unreal. Destiny is going to be great. Destiny is, I think, going to be uh, going to be the savior of this part of the, the country. It's going to be wonderful. For all the serenity enjoyed by our guests, running this place is another story. We're a full-time staff of more than 50, mostly from local neighborhoods, and we're constantly on the go. I don't believe that we could build what we have here on Savannah, the Pines Lodge, the barn, or any of the other projects that we do here if it wasn't for the local people and the local labor that we have here. I truly believe that 
small towns and rural areas spawn heartfelt people. Uh, not only heartfelt people, but people with great work ethic. I've always liked fishing and I always liked teaching, you know, as much as I could to other people. So working with people, fishing in an awesome environment like this, that's, that's really why I wanted to be here. To be honest with you, there isn't anywhere else I'd rather be working. Uh, it pays better than most jobs in the area. The benefits are good. It's a giant family. Everybody that works here, it doesn't matter what we need. We can have guys that are hunting guys in the kitchen plating dinners at nighttime. I mean, it's just very team oriented. It's different than any job I've ever had. Um, it's the best job I've ever had. We really are family. Um, if one person slides a little bit, we're there to back you up. We're there to encourage um, an atmosphere of creative thinking. It's, it's all positive here. There's nothing negative. Just like any fine resort, a major component of the experience we offer at Savannah Dew is dining. Four executive chefs collaborate to produce original menus based on game harvested here on the property, produce from local farms. We have local farmers around. We, we grow our own fruits, vegetables. We use organic farms for some of our fruits and vegetables. So whatever's ripe in season, we try to incorporate into our menus. We specialize in game, which we produce ourselves from, our, from the preserve, from the farm. Food is one of the main things people come here for. I mean, they'll stay several days, they're gonna be eating a lot of meals. So being, being a chef here is probably one of the most important jobs at Savannah. When a large event takes place here, it's all hands on deck in the kitchen. Everyone from the maintenance crew to the fishing team pitches in to serve up to 400 guests at a time. The local workforce has always been an integral part of Savannah Dew. These impressive structures were built almost entirely by local labor. Savannah Dew relies constantly on local suppliers of goods and services for the maintenance, improvement, and expansion of our facilities. These local experts and workers make a big contribution to Savannah Dew. And in turn, Savannah Dew is making big contributions to the local economies. Since January 1st, 2005, we've spent over three and a half million dollars within a 15 mile radius of the property. We started working with Savannah Dew, it was Savannah Evergreen at the time, in 1989. And we worked on the first lodge that they built and it burned down about eight eight to seven or eight years ago. And uh, since then we've been here pretty steady with uh, as many as 30 employees that I have. I mean, they began doing business with us in 1987. And at that time, it uh, seemed to be more of a homeowner building a nice hunting lodge. Uh, today, Savannah Dew is what we call a commercial account. Um, if you were to look at contracting organizations in and around the area, they would certainly uh, fit into a, a top 10 of any uh, lumber yard of our size or, or that, that does what we do. Uh, they're a very significant consumer of building products. I've been working with Savannah Dew for approximately five years now. Uh, they're probably uh, 80 to 90 percent of my business here around the local area. Working at Savannah Dew has um, made a, kept a number of our guys busy for the last five to six years, sometimes couple guys, sometimes as many as 20 guys. The Savannah Dew is probably the largest taxpayer in, in Savannah and probably Clyde with the merged uh, school system and uh, they're employing more and more people. In 85 it wasn't, uh, it was a one or two operation and I believe there's uh, 40, 50 people out there so uh, it's only been a benefit. Savannah Dew is the largest employer in Wayne County and if you lost that many, uh, many employees it, it, it would hurt. One thing they've done here is uh, they do tend to employ local people, and we have people every from electricians, plumbers, painters, and excavation people, and just everything you can imagine. And let alone the local people that they hire at the lodge and and the groundskeeping and everything is just unbelievable. The amount of people that work here. The fact that they have a you know a six million dollar uh, tax base here. <clears throat> Not in the, uh, in Wayne County, their their presence is uh, almost ten million dollars. I talked with Don on several occasions about uh, how important it is to the Savannah area, uh, the tax base, uh, the employment, uh, what it's added to the community, and 
with the loss of some of the lands to the state and federal government, uh, it's helped build a tax base or keep it current uh, with what we had. And I think it's very important in that area. Savannah Dew has a ripple effect in this area. Uh, they not only hire a lot of people, but it helps the economy around here because of all the things that are uh, um, purchased for this place. Uh, this was built by and large by local labor. Well, Savannah Dew contacted me uh, to do work here a number of years ago, and we've done jobs on and off for uh, the past few years. Uh, the large project we started was uh, the barn, in which we uh, were challenged to finish that within a nine-month period, which uh, at the time seemed absurd, but uh, in reality it did happen. Out here you're being challenged every day to, to do your best, but it's also you think out of the box, and that's the challenge that we like. I guess you don't know what you can do until you're challenged, and uh, that's uh, I think that's the best way to put Savannah Do. Savannah Do is a great place to work, playing an ever-increasing part in the growth and prosperity of our local communities. But these 5,000 acres are also a national treasure, a world-class wildlife preserve, carved from overgrown marshland, abandoned farms, and gravel beds. It was named for our Savannah, New York location and the Black Creek that runs through it. The Gaelic word for black is do, Savannah do. When the land was acquired, there was almost no open water on it. Now there are canals and hundreds of acres of man-made ponds. Over 500,000 deciduous and evergreen trees have been planted here since 1983. When we came here, there was hardly a pine tree on the property. The marsh is one of the largest staging areas for waterfowl migration in the Northeast. Mallards, wood duck, teal, and geese. There's a year-round abundance of native wildlife as well, including white-tailed deer, ring-necked pheasants, ruffled grouse, cottontail rabbits, fox, wild turkey, and bald eagle. 1,400 acres of the preserve have been stocked with elk and white-tailed, sika, fallow, and pear David deer. An additional 650 acres are stocked with Russian wild boar. The preserve's ponds are full of bass, trout, perch, pike, and walleye, while the fields and hedgerows are fairly bursting with songbirds. The value of Savannah Dew to the local community is definitely very significant. Brickell Plumbing is very happy to be associated with Savannah Dew and all their operations out there. They've helped us a number of ways increase our business. Well, right now, they're probably 95% of our business. We're here pretty steady and we can depend on work through the winter and uh, they've been real good to us. We've only gone uh, upward with business with them over since 1985, starting with one installation and probably uh, 20 to 25. Uh, installations minimal. Our employees are able to have a full-time job, good paying benefits, and uh, we, we do that because we, we know that this facility is here and uh, he's committed to the community. Hopefully we can develop a partnership that will uh, help everybody and make our little community grow and add to it. And... The bottom line message to, to local people who aren't uh, as involved with the project uh, would, would definitely have to be that it's, it's a, a positive to the community. Very strong positive. I want to, uh, to help them uh, establish relationships with Savannah to, uh, to expand. Uh, I like to see them spending money in here. <laughs> Savannah Do is a good neighbor to the environment and to the people, businesses, and towns that also call this beautiful part of the country home. And like all neighbors, we just wanted to tell you a little bit about ourselves. We're proud to be here, happy to contribute and happy to be working hard side by side with our friends and neighbors. Welcome to Savannah Dew.